Hi, I'm Kimmy Bruner from Machine Quilting Unlimited magazine, and I'd like to talk to you today about tension. So many times people think that when we mention tension and quilts, we're just talking about our thread tension. But there's another type of tension that is equally important, and that is the tension that you apply to the three layers of your quilt. Let me tell you why it's important. If you really crank the backing of your quilt tightly, but you don't apply that same tight tension to the top of your quilt, and you quilt those layers together, that tight backing fabric is going to relax just as soon as you take the quilt off of the machine and it's going to curl to the back and it's going to take your quilt top with it, leaving you with a quilt that kind of looks like a mushroom. It's all going to curl around to the back and it's not going to hang nice and flat. If you overly tighten your quilt top but don't apply equal tension to the backing, the reverse will happen. When you remove the quilt from the machine, your top will relax and it will pull that backing fabric up and over so you'll end with kind of a quilt that looks like a cup or a great big bowl where the whole backing comes up and around and you won't be happy with either. So what you want to do is pay close attention to how tight you are getting all three layers of your quilt, the backing, the batting, and the top. You never want to tighten your quilt so much so that you see the fabric distorting or your piecing lines of your quilt distorting. You don't need to tighten the quilt to the point where it's screaming for mercy. You just need to tighten it enough so that you are not creating puckers or wrinkles on your back while you're quilting your quilt. So it's sort of a, um, is this porridge too hot? Is this porridge too cold? It's you want a middle ground. You want the quilt tight, but not too tight. Let me talk to you a little bit about the clamps that I like to use because I don't like those little tiny clamps that come with our machines. They're like this wide, they take a little tiny bite out of the side of your quilt and kind of give you a nice scalloped edge when what you really want is a straight edge. So I use big clamps all the time. Let me show you why. When it comes to using wider clamps, there are a couple of different options. There's the rod and grip system, and then there's the wide clamps. I will show you both of them, but first let me show you why you want wider clamps. You want your whole backing to be nice and tight so that there's no possibility of you creating puckers or creases or wrinkles and stitching them down when you're working on the front of your quilt. We can't see what's going on on the back of our quilt while we're quilting up top, so you need to make sure that you're kind of getting all your ducks in a row and taking care of problems before they even crop up. We'll talk first about the rod and grip system. These are by Leader Grips, two words, Leader Grips. The website is leadergrips.com. I don't sell them, I just think they're a great product. It's a rod, and then a little bit of snap-on, almost like uh, partial PVC piping. It just snaps right over that rod and holds the layer of your quilt in between the rod and the grip. You can see I've got one on the side of my quilt right now. I do not clamp my backing and my batting. First thing, or I'm sorry, I do not clamp my top and my batting. First thing that I do, if you watched my proper loading video, you saw that I basted my top in place to my backing and my batting. That means if I clamp my batting, it's going to pull all three layers with it. So I'm just going to put my batting in between my rod and my grip, snap it together, clamp the ribbon that is attached to the rod and grip, grip with one of my clamps. It's going to hold the whole thing nice and tight and I'm going to have perfectly even tension all the way across my quilt. I'm going to do the same thing at the other end so that I've got nice even tension coming from both ends and everything that's in the middle will weigh, lay nice and flat. To get that grip off of there, just grab it, unsnap it. It's as easy as that. If you don't like to use the rod and grip system. My other favorite is these grip light clamps. G-R-I-P-L-I-T-E, grip light clamps. You can get them from Quilters Paradise, uh, quiltersparadiseesc.com, all one word. The reason that I love these is if you look closely, you can see there's fine grit sandpaper just inside both the top and the bottom of the clamp. That grabs your fabric nicely, holds it really securely so that your fabric doesn't shift out of place. The, the grit on the sandpaper is fine enough that it won't snag your fabric, it will just hold your fabric. And I love them because instead of taking a little half inch bite like our normal clamps take out of the side of the quilt, this takes a nice six inch bite out of the side. 
holds it nice and tight. Love it, love it, love it. I will usually put two on each end. One here, one here, two more on the other end. So again, the whole thing is nice and taut. Now, if you are like me and you don't like to come crashing into your clamps when you get to the edge of your border, to eliminate that problem, you stick your clamps on there, grab a yardstick, go over your belly bar, under your elastic or your Velcro strap, and either up and over your dead bar or your take-up roller. That will lift your clamp up and out of the way just enough so when you come over with your machine to the edge of that border, your machine is able to clear nicely underneath your clamp without running into it and scaring the living daylights out of yourself. Works like a charm every time. Give these a try. I think you'll like them a lot.